Hello everyone, and welcome back to East Eight Lacrimosa of Dana, where Dana has revealed a mysterious light which will load out doom her kingdom. Give me, my name is Genya, Spirit of Life. So thou art the one who camest to my aid. Thanks, Z. Okay. A real spirit. One of those with powerful essence. You're the tree pope! You're, shouldn't you have powerful essence? It is quite remarkable for one of your kin to observe us. Here's power. Power thou knowest as essence. She didn't tell me this. Tis rare that we are afforded such so converse with mortals. Grant to thee my protection. Just relax and let me enter your body. Dana, that was the power of Genya, Spirit of Life. Oh, more hit points. We spirits are essence incarnate. It's just extraordinary powers. Alright. Got some essence fragments. Neat. <laughs> Worry not, for these stones are proof that thou rescued me. Proof that our encounter was not entirely by. Something is tickling at me. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's free me. I'm not so free as to remain confined. Short spot. Bid thee farewell, Dada. Did actually cross paths again? Oh. Alright. <laughs> we did it! Her virtue has increased. Dada's there, you can find trap spirits and essence rifts. Okay. Right. I should go where the red haired swordsman yeah, went. Yeah, but. If I remember correctly, it should be west of here. Yeah. 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 Town Highway? Yeah. Did I get a new skill? Not as such. Alright. She's definitely doing some manner of time travel. <clears throat> Everything that seems pretty good in the kingdom. the fruit. <coughs> Are we going to talk through time? Are we time traveling? He's not here. Adolf Kristen. Yeah, but the kingdom is. Such a peculiar name. I don't dislike it. Nobody though. dislikes Adolf. He's so lovely and friendly. Yeah. Much better view of the city right now. Hmm. <laughs> that vision. Its color eludes me, but... Yes. I'm certain that... Well, yeah. So, in earlier... Um, episodes, episodes. Earlier in the game, we uh, we learned that certain visions have different colors, and some colors mean they're they have to happen. They they can't be stopped. Donna. And some are not so certain. Sorry for the delay. Have you learned anything new? Just got here. Yes. Was it the future after all? Yes. Unfortunately. I see. This is the Earth's essence crystallized. What are you doing? She's doing tree pope stuff. A prayer 
tree sapling. Why would you plant this here? Because they couldn't advance. He seemed very troubled by that. What are you talking about? She's uh, she has having visions of the future, and she's helping out somebody in the future. Get with the picture. I hope this young sapling will guide them. <clears throat> now here's the question: In the future, will this kind of just appear suddenly? How is this time shenanigans working? I just had a vision of the past. Heavens. You just stopped moving, then you fell where you stood. Scared the hell out of us. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just a Ooh. young woman again. Glad to hear that. You touched that weird crystal over there and then you fell down. It happens. <gasps> we may be entering Mass Effect. Is there a tree now? Oh, there's going to be a tree now, isn't there? <laughs> What's wrong? Cleaning out some eye boogies? What the? Yeah. What are you two? There's going to be a tree here now. Huh? Yep. That tree was not there before. We meddled with time. It's like the root of this ancient tree is forming a bridge. But this tree wasn't here before. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. When? How? Sneaky tree. Did you do this, Adol? Yes. Adol tried his best to explain what exactly he saw Donna do. I'm sorry, Adol. This is very difficult to process. I mean, I'm willing to accept magic glowing metal. Giant creatures that have been supposed to have been dead since prehistory. An ancient civilization. And a magical island that no one has ever gotten to. Because it's believed to be cursed. But time travel! So you're saying Donna's actions had something to do with this? After seeing this tree show up out of nowhere, it's kind of hard not to believe. Yeah, it really is. True. Perhaps this is the same phenomenon that occurred in the Great Valley. It doesn't matter. We have a path now. Let's move at all. Oh, yeah. Um. So. So, 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 so. Um, over here? Yeah, when we were trying to get through across this, we did find a rock thing. Um, or the, the ravine we couldn't get across. But then a tree grew. And then I remember now, in one of the prior visions, Dana planted a little tree. Perhaps that tree indeed grew up to be the other tree that... Interesting. Very strange. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, cross era. Is that a fair tree to play as Adol again? Only materials we transfer to Adol. Interesting. Oh. We're doing things through time. Are we the reason the city is dead? But first things first, let's go back to camp. Because, you know, we had some story advancement. There may be... No questions. 
Good helper. Mm. Right. Nothing special. Let's go back north. So, what do we want to do? Alright. <clears throat> Let's travel through time. And let's see if we can do anything different with Dana before we push on. I want it. Oh, those giant ridiculous weapons of yours, then. See, if I try and go down... Alright, so apparently it does not want me to wander off quite yet. Hey, Olga. A future where attorney is destroyed? I don't want to believe it. Hmm, I haven't had a vision of it at all, the other since I planted it. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Traveling through time. <laughs> so now, now we can go this way. We. You know, the way this tree is shaped, it's almost like it's guiding us. Yeah. It was kind of designed that way. It's a magic prayer Does tree. Does mean Donna's prayers were answered? I don't know, but I'm glad this worked out. Me too. <laughs> the ruins of Eternia. Oh, we've got the sad music. This is messed up. Yep. These buildings are enormous. Old. What could they have been used for? Hmm. There's treasure beyond that. And I want the treasure. It's in pretty good condition. I could tell as we got closer to these ruins that this place is bigger than I thought. Indeed. It would be no exaggeration to call this a city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A mighty city indeed. I've never seen anything like this before. Buildings are so tall up close. Yeah, it puts your shack into perspective, doesn't it? Luxia, is where you live even more amazing than this place? Um... I wonder. I'm hard pressed to recall a single building in Aresia as magnificent as these. How could ruins this ancient be so architecturally advanced? Because they had magic! You think my father's here? It's certainly possible. Really? Yes. As an explorer, I doubt he would pass on the opportunity these ruins present. Nope, I gotta stick with my instincts. Ruins. Yeah. To say nothing of adventurers. <laughs> Let's search the city and see what we find. Hmm. Thoughts, Hubble? Look, Adol! A wide open area! Is this where the market used to be? What do you mean? Oh? 
What is it? Oh. Oh, it's gonna be your dad. I saw a container looking thing. Now that you mention it, this could have. Oh. There's it all. Let's follow him. Now, why are you running away? Hmm. Hmm. Do we mean sad? Who is that man? An actual weathering. <clears throat> Caught in a powerful impact. Something exploded. Hmm. Hello. It could not be opened with force. What about the force? No. Hmm. Where are you going, buddy? Got nowhere left to run. Unless that building has a back door. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go checkmate quite yet, guys. Look. A dwelling. Something's Let's definitely see. in here. Alright. I don't know those prayer altars. Neat. Ooh, a treasure chest. <laughs> Snowflake soap. Interesting. I'm getting a bit of um, a Chrono Trigger vibe going from that. Definitely getting into a Chrono Trigger vibe. Rat knees. I got stronger again. Hey, it's the forge. Yeah, where did he go? Windows the size of the door in this room for humans to have lived in. <gasps> are they are they giants? Hmm. Those folks. Went to the city was significantly taller than average, except for Dana. She was tiny. Interesting. So, some sort of giant primordial race of pre-humans. Hmm. Hmm. Very curious. But we didn't find him. It's a little like your own, but not quite as stocky. Better question is, how did he elude us? He's elusive. It's her dad. We know it's her dad. You don't have to kid us about a game. Why are you playing the game game? Now that is one ridiculously tall building. 
Yeah, it's an essence accumulator. Full of mighty magical essence. Or at least it was. Uh, looks like it's seen better days. Uh, the tip? No, it's a stupa, I think. The stupa. No. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Bug. A treasure chest. Oh yeah. The pearls. I found a treasure. And a hoop stun. Oh, it's all smashed up. Building found the bridge. Try this side. Oh, what's all the way over here? I can't remember what this one is. That's the research tower. I think I might need some sort of special thingamajig to open these doors. Donna, could you bury one in the ground for me? That'd be super. To the main building. Mm. What are these? Statues of primordials. Humans and primordials live together? It's the Flintstones, but they're giants. Had been extinct long before humans first appeared, except the island. Where they were definitely not extinct. Hello! Hmm. 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 Alright. Pressing on! Him again. We'll capture him next time. Yeah, there's supposed to be a big old giant palace here. It seems to have exploded or sank into the sea or both. Nothing off on us at all? Let's keep going. I don't know why he'd suggest that. You know he has visions. All the water go. We can rest a little. The bridge is gone. Yeah, doesn't look like anyone's here either. Come on, how did you not see him? That makes doesn't make sense. Yes. We all saw a man come this way. It, it makes no sense. <laughs> you guys are real marks. It's a dad, I bet. I nearly pissed myself. Who are you? Me? Oh, I'm... Um... Father? Huh? Yep. Father! Oh. Ricota! Long time no see! Huh? 
wait. This man? He's your... Thanatos. Nothing weird about giving him the name of a yes, god of death. I'm Thanatos Beldine, seasoned explorer and Rakota's uh, father. He's older than I had imagined. Who might you be? All right. Well, I think we'll take a little bit of a break here as we're about to get some backstory. I expect uh, quite quite the little tale is going to be coming up shortly, so we'll uh, we'll take a little break. We'll come back. We'll see what happens. Please share your thoughts and comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll talk to everyone soon.